guys. All right. It is an interesting and exciting day in Maxine the Puzzle Queen land. I have here a brand new puzzle that I've been asked to review by this company. Now that is like really, really exciting. Anyways, let's get into it. Hey guys. All righty. So today, we have something new and exciting going on. Like I know there have been a lot of exciting announcements on this channel lately. Um, if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. We have all kinds of major things coming up and I don't want you to miss any of it. that will keep you updated, notified, especially with the big puzzle coming up. The day we start, you know, um, like perhaps not at whatever horrible early hour in the morning we're gonna get going at, you'd wanna read that notification. But uh, when you wake up and get rolling, you, that's something to see. This puzzle. Alrighty. Susan Go has asked me to review it. I'm so excited. Um, there is a bit of a story behind this puzzle. This is not the one I'm supposed to be reviewing. It's supposed to be this really cute, and you should put it up on the screen, um, Doggy Kitty in the Library Reading. This is from the same series, as you can see. Like, you know, it's kind of the same idea, cat reading in his library. But uh, there's a bit of an oopsie daisy somewhere along the line at the warehouse. It's tagged as the correct item, but uh, it's not the correct item. Either way, I can still review it. It's like it's pretty much the same image, so I'm probably gonna have the same amount of fun. Um, you know, piece quality, how it clicks together, all that kind of good stuff. It's still gonna be the same because it's the same family, same brand. An interesting point about these puzzles that I was so excited about when they emailed me. I don't know if any of you out there have seen, and it's been popping up on my timelines a whole lot, this really cool, it's yellow and blue. It's like a visual trick puzzle with rings. Um, when it's completed, it's one of those pictures that looks like it's moving, but it's not. I would really love to do that puzzle one day because I think that would be trippy. I wanna know if when you're doing it, it looks like it's moving and how much that throws you off. But anyways, yeah, for today, my first review. We will be posting the written version on Amazon after the fact, so if you wanna check that out, please do so. Um, we'll probably post a link in the description, I assume, to the puzzle, um, just for fun, why not? Um, and one more thing, you guys. Like, I know with the backing of the Kickstarter and this review, um, if you guys do have things you want me to check out, smaller channels that you're like, hey, like, they do this really cool thing. I am more than happy to check that kind of stuff out and give you a shout out if I can. Like, if it's something that I'm really interested in and really believe in, I got no problem supporting it. That being said, I will pro I will never ever support anything on this channel I don't actually believe in. <laughs> if you ever question that, that's where it's at. I only back things I like. And if I don't like this puzzle, I will say so. <laughs> so it better be good. Anyways, you guys. Let's get into it. I have never done this brand before. I'm going in totally blind and I'm excited to try it. So let's find out. Oh, hey. Ah, <laughs> no, you need to eat some beans. You need time. What's, what? Time? No. Oh my God, I almost gave him the night off. Do you, that would have been bad. I was so excited about all my other stuff. Beans, how that, much time? That was a piece. Lots of detail, super easy for you. I'm gonna say a good solid uh, hour and 10 minutes. Try to remember this is a thousand <laughs> piece puzzle, you silly. Two hours and 15 because you've never done it before. Okay, and we like, I don't know if this brand is gonna be one of the ones that like wiggly jiggly fighty backy. Yeah, okay, two hours and 15 minutes sounds fair to That's me fair. though. I'm, sure. willing, I'm willing to take That's it. Sure. I'm, I'm willing to take it considering I almost forgot. <laughs> All right, you guys, for real this time, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, packaging come off. Surprise puzzle is being opened. I'm, I'm so curious. I wanna know, are these gonna be giant pieces, little pieces, medium-sized pieces, have a bag? <laughs> Don't you throw that back at me. Oh, okay, well they look like standard size pieces. Oh, hey, and they give you a cute little card. That's fun. What's this? This isn't the company that what? thought it was that they do pretty much zero uh, puzzle dust. Isn't this the company that they I thought they, yeah, I thought that was one of their, what? This is a huge poster, Jesus. I don't know if it's big. Oh wow, that's really detailed. It is. Holy crap, that's well printed. Oh my God. 
Huh. Well, that's a point in their favor. This is really good print. It looks, it looks that's, really that's thick. That's really good print quality. It's really thick, too, eh? It is. Yeah, normally they're not that. Like, they're just... It's that, like they're it. like, they're a cheap... Not quite. Oh, it's really thick. Yeah, right? It's almost photo paper. Yeah. Huh? Right? That's good quality. That's, like, that's like a poker. That is good quality. It's like they wanted it to be real poster or something. Yeah, right. Like most of the time, it's not, it's not cardstock, but it's something, it's something in between that yeah. regular paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. All right. I guess you can start my timer now. I give you permission. I will. Uh, I'll. I'll let you know when I actually truly start. I haven't really started it yet. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. No, I'll, I'll let you uh, start. Don't throw the bag. I mean... <laughs> you deserved it. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No puzzle dust. So their claim is to, I mean, granted, I haven't sorted all the pieces yet, but none of it, like, trickled out of the bag. It looks like they've got that nice blue cardboard, like, Ravensburger and other companies. Mm hmm They already kind of feel like good quality pieces. It doesn't, it's not, it's not thin and crappy sometimes when you first touch puzzles. Uh, they do look, yeah. it looks, they look pretty good. Mm hmm Yeah, I can't wait to start actually clicking the pieces in and see, see how they go. And the quality of the image itself is pretty much like it, like it is on the box. It's not, uh, it's well printed. It doesn't get blurry and distorted on the puzzle. Two o five is the time. Two fifteen. Uh. Don't you be trying to give yourself <laughs> an extra leg up. No, thank you. None of that. It's called cheating. They feel pretty good. So far, they feel really good. It's not like working with a little puzzle where it's hard to pick up or anything. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick. None of them are crumpled or anything, so like it's printed well. Some of you guys have asked earlier on about on the wheel being able to do like a Q&A thing or you know so that way you can learn more about us I will give you a fun fact uh, Maxine was born with her big left toe on her right foot and her right, <laughs> right big toe on her left foot she's got reversed toes you quit telling them <laughs> lies <sighs> I have normal feet <laughs> actually I've once had someone tell me that I have really good feet I feel like it... You're going to get into us in trouble if you start talking about feet too much. It's a foot. It's a foot. How is that? I'll never <laughs> understand how that's a thing. It is a foot. And realistically, that is a terrible fetish to have. I'm sorry. They're dirty. They touch the floor all the time. Like, you could have literally any other fetish. And I, I think... It, or you, you, I just... I can't... <laughs> you got us off topic. I was just talking about weird, your weird feet. That she doesn't have weird feet. I'm I just, have I'm, normal feet. Yeah, she has thank normal you. feet. She has normal feet. They're they're all dirty from working down at the studio all day. Yes, some of you may know. Well, I, I did a pretty good job of cleaning it off, but I had a whole bunch of paint and primer all over me. Um, we're painting the walls in the board game area blue. So last night when I was painting, I think I was trying to turn myself into a Smurf. <laughs> She's doing a really mm. good job. I can hardly wait for you guys to see it at the store when it's all done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll post a video. Um, we probably will set up a separate YouTube channel for the store when all is said and done, because like this channel will always be for the puzzles and dedicated to the puzzles. Now, I mean, we might give a shout out to it every so often when we get new puzzles in, and like all of a sudden my puzzle library is going to get huge. Like if we see ones we like, we're do you know. Well, I don't care what he wants, realistically. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna start pulling puzzles from the shelves and being like, I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> Screw you that you wanted to make money on it. That's not important. <laughs> ah, I threw a piece away. That's what you get. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how I'm gonna eat whatever candy I please. Thank you. No. Well, if you'd buy it. <laughs> I told you when we're making purchases, I will, I'll transfer you a couple hundred bucks for the uh, the amount of candy that I'm going to order for myself, a case of this and a case of that, and mm, that looks tasty. Mm. 
candy a holic that, right here. That's a good question. Since we are opening up like a puzzle store and a and board game cafe and escape rooms, what's because uh, we know all you guys. There's a lot of you from different countries. What's some of your favorite candies from your country? Ooh, yeah, because we were really wanting to get into, like, if we can, with shipping restrictions and stuff. We've run into some issues where people don't like to ship to Canada. Um, but we really want to get some of that international candy going if we're able to. But yes, tell us your favorite candy. And then we'll get Max to review it. Mmm, yes. Puzzle and candy reviews. I'd be living the life. I don't see why we can't do the candy reviews. I don't see why not either. I have lots to say about candy. Oh, I know. <laughs> now, that being said, I probably won't like any gummy candy without sour on it because they actually really hurt my teeth. You heard it first. <laughs> you heard it here first. The soft, chewy candies hurt her teeth. No, but the same hurt. candy with sour powder on it don't hurt her teeth. Well, they do after a certain period of time, but those ones hurt almost instantly. It's really weird. I don't know if it's the density of the gelatin or whatever, but it's it's pretty well instant pain. Um, do you guys know of um, a cereal it's called uh, uh, Cocoa Puffs? Hmm. The, the, the saying is cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, that's Max. <laughs> that I'm cuckoo? You're cuckoo. But not for Cocoa Puffs. No, but this I is can tell that. you that. I don't, I don't even really like cereal, to be frank. But <laughs> Sure. But the fact that you could have the same jelly bean, or not jelly bean, like a... Um, Look, Jelly, it, look it up. I bet it's made. But uh, I bet it's made different. Like the, those gummy frogs and gummy sharks, they, they hurt my teeth. Um, or like those fried eggs that we got. You, uh, you're in no danger of me eating those. No. No. It's that kind of thing. I, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. The flavor is there for sure. I love the cute little gummy sharks and frogs, but I, just, I can't. <laughs> can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, there is absolutely no puzzle dust, if you can believe it. I was a little skeptical about those claims. Not a piece. Not a lick. See? None. They must, um, they must be cut in a vacuum. Or something. To get. Like, I don't know how Just else to... you would... It's just from getting cut alone, you'd think there'd be at least a little bit. And maybe not an excessive amount like you get in some puzzles, but... Okay, yeah, and the pieces do click together really, really well. No wiggly jiggly, it stays where it's supposed to. This is a good puzzle. And it doesn't seem like they're pieces that'll just fit anywhere, regardless of whether they should or not. Sour Keys, hands down. Sour Keys is your favorite candy. Oh yeah, they're delicious. What about Best things ever. your favorite, do you have a favorite chocolate slash candy bar? Eh. I'm not really big on chocolate, but I do like crunchy bars. Mm -hmm. Crunchy bars are good. That, that mm. toffee. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I know you don't like uh, the fizzy pop pop, but uh, favorite fizzy pop pop drink? I don't know. I guess Pepsi. Pepsi. It's really one of the only ones I'll drink. But as a kid, there wasn't a flavor that you just had, wanted it now. I've never liked pop. No. I don't like the fizz. There was a flavor growing up as a kid. Crush put out, they tried different flavors. Because it was always just like the cream soda or the, the grape or the orange. That was it. Here's your, here's your choices. Cream soda, grape, orange. Mm -hmm. And then they put out apple. 
Mm, 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 mm. That was good. And then it just didn't take off and then it died. Really? I would have thought it because it's a new different flavor, it would have just automatically oh, done well. It's so good. So you guys, so far, I'm really enjoying this puzzle. It's well colored, it clicks together nicely. Um, yeah, like it's really clear and defined. What's the brand name again? It was, uh, how do I pronounce this? Susingo, I think. What's the top name? What's the what? The top name. Oh, Hexmars? Yeah, I don't know if that's the brand name or what that is. That could be the parent company and then their brand of puzzles might be the... Maybe. Would you put it up there? Would you put this up with the big boys, Ravensburger, Cobble Hill? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Yeah, it's cut well, it's put together well, yeah. I like the art more than I thought I would. Like when I first saw the box, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm crazy about the way it's drawn, but putting it together is a little bit different. I don't mind it.
I do feel like this puzzle is coming together well. Like it, it, I mean, it's hard to tell. I'm not used to doing thousand piece puzzles for this anymore. So like time, I have no concept of time at the moment, but. All systems just feel go, go, go. I would say you're on, you're on pretty good track. Mm -hmm. you're, you're doing okay. A-okay. Do I feel good about it? No. <sighs> Should I have kept my original for the two hour and ten minute time? Yes. You bet you never said that. So the original is two hours and fifteen minutes. You can go suck a lemon. Ha ha. I win. I like winning. Everyone, the kitty officially thinks that Casey is a toy. Hey everyone. The kitty named Kitty thinks I'm officially a scratch pad. Yeah. Something to tore, a chew toy. There you go. You've made a friend. He thinks you're lots of fun. No. Yes, he does. That's all right. Another couple of weeks and there will be no more animal interference. Casey is spinning a wheel tonight, you guys. Just a feeling. I'm feeling really good about this puzzle. And it really is a ton of fun to put together. Like, I, I think I'll be buying more of this brand in the future. And to be honest, I had never heard of them before they reached out. Other than seeing the uh, the visual trippy puzzle, like I said. But, um, but in all honesty, I had no idea what brand it was. I didn't have any information other than I was like... Dude, that'd make for a good a good puzzle for the channel. And now I know. <laughs> My questions have been answered. So these these guys are the ones that do that trippy puzzle. They are, yeah. Yeah, that trippy blue and uh, blue and yellow one. Huh. Which we'll have to order at some point because I really I think it would be a really good video. Yeah. It's, it's popular, people are interested in it. It'd make for a good challenge. I want to see if it'll trip me up. Because like I said, I want to know if it moves while you do it. Like if the visual effect kicks in. When you get a large chunk of it complete. I bet she does that once you start getting... Big chunks of big it? Big chunks of it, they will probably start doing it. Mm -hmm. And like how much harder does that make the puzzle? These are questions I need answers to.
have any idea how long I've been trying to work on this record player. Like I keep abandoning it and coming back to it. I've been on it, honestly, since I grabbed out the chair pieces. And yep, still not done. Not even close. Totally abandoned it. record player together. Gee, it sure took me long enough. <sighs> I only sat on it for forever. Does it make you feel any better about your bean time? No, I'm completely screwed. Are you really? Oh, 100%. Huh. Today is a good day. This is, you're doing uh, very well with this puzzle. See, it really, it goes together really nicely. It's like the pattern of the books or something really helps out.
I'm almost done, by the way. How are you feeling about your beans? Because I know I slowed down there with the... It's going to be uh, close. Had we kept the original time, um, it would still be very, very close. I'm eating a bean regardless. Really? Really? Because huh. <laughs> 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 I, I, like, I felt myself slow down when I got to the books. That was a little bit more broken up and such. But... I didn't know if it slowed down enough to make the difference and save you, or... Right at this point, if we had kept the original bet, I'm still screwed. Really? Really? See, it feels like it's... Really? Well, no, it does... It... Really? Stop being a jerk. It feels like it's really? taking way longer. <laughs> oh, my. You have to eat a bean. Oh, my. <laughs> You're a jerk. Isn't he a jerk, you guys? <laughs> All in all, a very good puzzle. Out of 10? Out of 10, um, I'm going to say an 8.5 only because it's a very reflective material or something and I'm catching a nasty glare that I don't always get with other brands from my lights. That's really the only thing that I would say would bring it down. I noticed it in the camera there was a good, a good glare. And just for the fact that nothing is ever perfect. <laughs> yeah, other than that, like a, it's definitely a very reflective material, so be mindful of that if you're making a purchase of it. And depending on the light setup you've got, you might catch a nasty glare, but otherwise, pieces, so pieces fit together well, um, snug fit, picture quality is very good. Hmm? So this is a note. The company reached out to Maxine to do this puzzle and review it, um, but it was only in their American Amazon account. That's it. Where's... I'm missing a piece. Oh, I'm oh it fell down. There we go. Okay. Phew! So, I don't know if it's available in other countries, so you might have to buy it from the .com website, because it's not available yeah. in .ca. Yeah, so Amazon.com. You can find this puzzle and a whole bunch of their other puzzles that they do in their brand. Um, I found it easiest to just search the Hex Mars thing, and it brought up all of the, like it brought up the whole list of everything that you can purchase from them, like the blue freaky geeky one. Um, now that being said, <laughs> I hope they're not all tagged incorrectly, so that you know if you ordered the dog and cat puzzle that I was supposed to review, you you get it, and this was just a one off of the daisies. Um, but like we did let them know. Like, hey, you know, this is what we ordered and this is what we got. Might want to take a peek into that just to be sure. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, all in all, I'm happy. I will definitely order more of these kind of puzzles. Um, how much are you spinning by? Well, you're not that screwed. Sure I am. Yeah, but 208, that's pretty close. You bet 215. Right, no. And by, so, so I said, I go, uh, and we kept it to 10, I would still have... Still, uh, yes. Okay, well, yeah, but that was really close. It was close. Like, that's... I would have preferred the 210, but I still would have been screwed. So, uh, so yeah, then guys, for difficulty, I guess I would put this at easy, medium range, because I'm somewhere in between there in terms of putting together. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Get me set up. You, you're going to spin the wheel. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. I was very curious. You know what the school bill number is, right? You know what a school bill is? Yes. Uh, the measurement of yeah, heat. Hot. Hot. So these <laughs> beans, uh -huh. the ghost pepper rates it at a 2.2 million. A jalapeno is anywhere from five to 8,000. The, 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 these beans. Are worse than the peppers? The pepper is 1 million. Oh. Because it's a puree, we're getting more. Oh God. Oh, so yeah. we're going to be able to eat those peppers and be like, this is hot. <laughs> So I was looking at because huh. I was looking that up and I go, we're getting yeah. closer to it. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, how bad is it going to be? So I, I, had, to, yeah. I had to Google the, the Scoville level of yeah. the different peppers. Yeah. I'm like, I, I did Scoville yeah. level of the Fiery Five. Yeah. And like the, the ghost one was at 2.2 million. I'm like, oh, okay. And the ghost pepper was like at 1 million. I'm like, oh. what? <laughs> so you guys. Remember, that 500 sub goal, we will eat the pepper equivalent next to the bean. 
and we will for as far as we go in a single video i mean it may be spread out over several videos if we start to ah hot 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 but we will eat all five pepper equivalents next to the beans to compare which is indeed worse which from the sound of casey's research it's sounding like those beans are pretty bad oh but if you want to see it in real life you get hitting that subscribe button and we'll turn it over to him to spin his wheel so I'm gonna, I'd rather have a bean yeah. and wash it down with a hot pepper. <laughs> uh, well, what if I don't give you that option? Use your what do you mean you don't give me that option? What if I don't allow you to do something? What do you thing? don't allow? When did you, you be on the rule of me? Ruler, not my boss. Sure I am. Whatever. If I, I reverse, 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 uh, reverse. I don't think it works that way. Doesn't it? Come on, reverse. No whammies, no whammies. Come on, reverse. Oh, it's coming around, it's coming around, it's coming around, it's coming around. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Stop. Beans. It's literally right on the line. Is it really? It is literally on the line. Really? From my angle, it looks like beans. Look it down. Oh, yeah, it is it's right on the line. Huh. I mean, you can either spin again in the hopes of getting a reverse or something less awful, or I'll let you take the beans. I'm gonna spin again. All right, all right. Because I really want that reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, all right. Please. Watch, watch you get three but hot beans. If I get that hot, would be oh, hilarious. that will not be hilarious. That would be very hilarious. Come on, 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 come on. Bam! Boozled. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Is that fine because there are hot beans in that chamber? Uh, right I don't think there. I have any more left. Oh, you have nothing but hot beans left. I remember correctly. You've been eating a lot of uh, no, no, good no, no, bad no. ones. One, two. Look at my shaky, shoe. Shaky, shaky. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot in Canada right now that the beans are not surviving at all. Humidity is not our friend. Hey, uh... I'm, I'm loosening them up. Take it till pill. No, I was going to say, hey, Julie in Winnipeg, you're, uh, you're in Canada too. How's, uh, how's the humidity level out there? Is it killing your beans that you, you're, you're probably a smart person and don't own these beans, but, no. These you know. are the, the, these hot beans were the worst decision ever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. These two can go back. This looks like it's hot. I don't know. You remember, they're 15. Boozled is 15. I thought it was. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got a hot one. That's oh, what you get. <laughs> you got a hot one. <laughs> That's what you get. You're not allowed to pick and choose like that. You're not I'm allowed. A hot one you are me. not. I am too. You are not. And look at your chamber. Look at how many beans you eat compared to me. And you say that I spin the wheel a lot. Look at how empty yours is. <laughs> Oh, that's a hot one! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought it was going to be a regular one. <laughs> and the ice start to water. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I thought that was a regular... Now I have two hot beans? Actually, well, you might have three. But that can't be... Oh my god, it is too. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. That was like cotton candy or something? Coconut? Sour milk. Mm, sour milk. <laughs> I should save those for the hot ones. <laughs> Have some milk. Oh. Oh, that was gonna be birthday cake. It's not. <laughs> Dirty dishwasher. Yeah. Ugh. That one really sticks with you. It's gonna suck. Mmm. <laughs> Bubble gum. That tastes good. That first one I was not expect. I thought it was I thought it was gonna be um, cinnamon or something else. <laughs> Bam. Oh. It's like 
moldy cheese or something. That's a rotten one for sure. Okay. I know that's hot. Yeah. I'm hoping that's not hot. This sucks. It should be your torture. It's your time limits. Not. Uh, this please be cream sickle. Please be cream sickle. Nope. <laughs> God. God, they're hot. And they don't taste good. That's the thing. It's, it's not only is right. it. It tastes like eating barf. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> please, please, please be. Woo! God, it cleans the sinuses. No, 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 no. That's the worst one. That's hot. Wow, that's hot. God. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. How did I get three hot ones? <laughs> I'm seeing stars. <laughs> You get stuck in your teeth and it's just, it's... Yeah. Oh, God. Please be... Oh, God. I have toothpaste. Ugh. Oh. We just gotta go back to... The... Oh. <coughs> that kicked in. Even though it was toothpaste, it, it, it's enhancing... The, it's the... the hot. <laughs> wow. Not fun. Not fun. On a scale of one to ten for fun, negative ten. Not fun, Not fun. but funny. Oh, yeah, funny. That's what matters. Uh. Bam. If you want to see him eat the pepper equivalent of those beans, you can oh. just imagine. Oh my god. Okay, remember, hit that subscribe button and we will do it. All right, you guys. That is it for this video. Again, if you want to check out my written review on this, it'll be on Amazon.com um, underneath the puzzle. We will put the link in the description for you guys. And again, highly recommend this brand. I had never heard of them before. Definitely something that I will be doing again in the future or puzzles by these guys. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Casey will not have a good night because he is on fire, but have a good night, you guys. Wow.